G'day everyone, Ali here. Well, welcome to my craft room tour. Today I'm going to do a tour. Um, as some of you have probably are aware that we've moved house, so I had to redo the craft room. So, and that was a huge job. Um, I couldn't believe how much stuff that I had. But anyway, so we're in. Um, this is really overdue. We've been in a house for four months now, um, but I lost my mojo a little bit there a couple of months ago after we lost my fur baby, Charlie. So, but I've got a surprise for you a little later. So you'll have to stay and watch what I've got in surprise. So um, my craft room tour, the room is just slightly a little bit tinier, but I have tried to keep it exactly the same as my old craft room. So if you haven't seen the craft room tour, I'll link it up in the corner here somewhere and uh, that'll be my last house where we were. So let's get started. Come on through. I've just recently purchased the Tim Holtz tonic glass plate and I must say I absolutely love it. Um, there's a couple of things that I no longer use. So I used to have a craft mat. I don't use my craft mat anymore. Um, my palettes for paints, I just put the paint straight onto the glass here um, and it just cleans off just so, so well. So I'm all set up uh, with my camera and my lighting. Hopefully it videos um, the best um, for you guys as well. So I have got my paper pads here. So my paper pads, these are the Kayser Craft paper packs that I'll um, show you a little later where I store them. And these are uh, paper packs also, but um, a smaller version so I clip them all together if I'm looking for a particular paper I've got them all numbered here and you'll see why um, when I show you my Kayser Craft paper rack I've got my tools my glue just something that I've recently put on um, my stencils and what I've done with my stencils is I now have a um, example or a sample of my stencils um, and I just used a uh, what do you call it a manila folder and I just cut them into strips they're all different lengths but the widths are all the same and I've just stenciled on one side and then the other side has got a different stencil as well but every stencil has a number okay and my stencils over here are all numbered. So if I'm looking for something in particular, I just go to my sample stencil, um, see what I've got, so then I can just go and just grab the number stencil that I want. Oh, I've got some card stock here for my card making. Um, over here I've got my Stamping platform by Tim Holtz Tonic and that's the best investment that I've made. It's really really good um, I've got a notebook that I've just recently created and this has everything um, That I have So this is really good because if I'm going somewhere if I know I'm going to a craft Shop I can just pick this up and just put it in my bag so it's really good because there's nothing worse than buying something that you've already got. I really hate that. Um, so I've got everything in here from paints to uh, waxes to inks uh, to pens and that. So it's really good. And I use this also when I'm crafting. So if there's something that I want to create and I want to have a look at the ink colours, I can just go to... Uh, my inks, whether it's alcohol inks, I, archival inks, or my distress inks. The only one I haven't got in here is my oxides, so it's something I'm going to do. But I can go to here and go, right, well, what colour does this look like? Okay, what colour green do I want? So it's really, really good um, having this here because I can actually see 
what it what the color actually does look like so i've got that and i've got my heat gun and my embossing powder so this embossing powder here i use 90 percent of the time uh, which is a rangers super fine clear embossing powder absolutely love it got my dobbers here for my uh, little mini cubes some inks so i've got my stamping up inks and versa fine versa mark inks memento inks and here's how i store my little mini ink pads so these here are you know the um four by six photo boxes so these are the four by six photo boxes and these were pretty cheap i got these at the um, dollar store as well i paid i don't know five bucks for five or six of them um, and as you see the little mini distressed ink cubes fit in really really well have my distress oxide inks so yes i do have every color and i use these all the time these are probably something that i do use 90 percent of the time um, the uh, storage unit here i made myself so i'll link up above how i made it um, it may not work for everybody it works for me so i put some little felt feet on the bottom so it moves around really really easily um, so that's great uh, just some cheapy inks uh, some punches so i'll put some of my corner punches on here and my chomper and my cropper dial so i use these all the time now um, i do wax seals on envelopes so i've got heaps of wax seals that i use and stamps um, just a box of dies um, these are leftover dies from projects so I put them in here. I don't get rid of them and discard them. I put them in here because I may use them some other time. And I've got a box of dies um, as well. Sometimes I use these for my uh, paperclip embellishments. Uh, just recently I put a box of stickers up here. So these are really good. I've been using my stickers. Um, my Nuvo Drops. Um, some Perfect Pearls and Cosmic Shimmer stuff. Uh, just recently, or probably in the last six months, got this mica powder. I think it's for soap making. So I bought it with the intention of just seeing if it would work just like a um, powder to paint with or colour with. And it does. So you just add a um, bit of powder, a little bit of water. Once you colour whatever it is that you want to color spray it with hairspray and it'll set it it will not rub off so another tip so, uh, my die cutting machine my tim holtz sidekick um, this is great another great investment so all those smaller dies that um, i use i just bring that down i don't have to go to my sizzix or my um, kaiser craft uh, a lot of other glues and gessos that I use all the time. Um, my alphabet dies. This is how I store my alphabet dies. So you might say, well, how do you know which is which? So I'll get my book. And I've actually cut out oops, in the middle here all my dies. So numbers and letters. They've got a related number next to it. So this one here, it's got number two on it. Number two, and that's what's in there. I just find it easier um, that way. So I keep all my letters and numbers all together. So I've been making some more paperclip um, embellishments. So I've got those up there, some alcohol ink. Um, liquid drops um, I do have a lot of charms so as you can see I've got charms up here I've got more charms down the other end um, and I use charms for scrapbooking 
art journaling, tags, you name it, I use it. So these are like all the jump rings and the little bits and pieces that go with it. So um, I have buttons, heaps of buttons, feathers up here, uh, metal embellishments. So I love my metal embellishments. Um, some glass jars, wooden embellishments as well. Big paper clips as well. Recently I saw this at Kmart. I think it was $8, I think, something like that. But it's got shelves on it. And I bought these baskets to be able to put things in to keep organised. So I have like all my um, embossing powders all in here. Got embellishments phone, phone, and tassel ends, so I do a lot of tassels in that, so the tassel ends, and more embellishments, so metal embellishments, um, so heaps of metal embellishments there, in the corner is all my art journaling, I've got my take five bucket, um, so my brads, more embellishments, and then I've got heaps of brads here. This is how I store my leftover die cuts um, from projects, so it's all um, in sections, and I just, when my little um, box up the top here is full. I just go through and just um, all organize it. So I've got stars, um, word dies, leaves, hearts, flowers and that. So that's really good. So um, because you can actually reuse them so on projects. So down here I've got um, all my coloring. So I've got watercolor pens, my prismas, uh, Distress, Copic, Hazercraft ones, Posca, a couple of um, stamps. These are my stamps that I actually put on the back of cards and that so people know that it's a handmade card. So I've got a couple of those. Um, so it just gives that, um, that card a bit more of a handmade feel. Um, all my distress inks and uh, charcoal pens, pencils, sorry, gelatos. Um, got one of these. I should use that more often actually to make your own stamps. I think it's a Zyron. Yep. Uh, my stamping up stamps. So down here I've got all my embossing folders. So I've got quite a few embossing folders. And just like my stencils, I do have a ring of embossing samples. So, so once again, it's got a number. Okay, I just come here, just pick out the number that I want and then um, just makes it a little bit easier. So I have my Bigs dies. I've only got um, a couple of those, five of those. Um, my Tim Holtz Sizzix. I tend to keep all these dies all together um, just because they're just so much easier to look for um, as well. So, and the other thing that I tend to do oops, is I cut masks out because sometimes I need masks. So I make up little envelopes and I just pop them in here as well. Um, my word dies. So I've just recently organised my word dies. So these are all, these are the cheap 4x6 photo albums. You can get them at the um, dollar store. I think I picked these up for like two, $2 each. So what I've done is um, I've put in how it cuts and the die is behind. Uh, these are in alphabetical order. So once again, if I'm looking for a happy birthday, they're all together. So, and I've got um, 
uh, another one to go. So I'm just in the middle of organising those. Got my Elizabeth Craft dies, but these are mainly the Karen Berniston dies because I love her dies, all the pop it up dies and that. A couple of uh, gel press plates, so I love these. Um, and then down to my um, Pride and Joy, these are my dies. So I have Kater Craft dies, I've got Spellbinder dies, I've got AliExpress dies. You name it, I've got it. So just recently, I actually just organised this box. So I've put in some dividers, okay, with what there is. Okay, so I'm just going to this out. Um, so this one here, house, fence and grass dies. So they're all my house, fence and grass dies. So... Um, so this works really, really well for me. These pockets here, I actually made myself. So I'll link up um, above here how I made these pockets. It, they are really cheap and economical. So I think I buy a um, pocket or a pack of 10 pockets for like $2. Um, this size, I get 60 in them. So And all I use is duct tape. Um, for the side. They've held up really, really well. Look, it's whatever works for you. Um, I have invested the time in doing this. Like, I've invested money in buying these dies, so why not invest the time to have them organised? So, this works really well for me. Um, so, yeah. So, I also have dies that don't fit in the square pockets here. Um, and I still have to do the dividers in here. So I haven't done those yet. So, but here I've got them all uh, named as well. So if I want looking for a background die, um, basket die, birds, Christmas circles, flora or fauna, flora, flora, frames. So I've got all these in um, order of what they are. I also have uh, light border dies um, and I've got these in a smaller um, sort uh, as well. So these are all basically background and border dies. Some spellbinder dies, memory box, and then I've got my bigger dies here that don't, that they're in a bigger square. Okay. So that's all in there. Um, I have my stamp and die sets. So these ones here. Um, so I bought the stamp plus I bought the die. So really cute because I'm not a fussy cutter. Um, I don't like fussy cutting. Um, one day I probably will get to do it, but yeah. <laughs> Then I've got uh, in here, in my cupboard, all my um, spritz, so my Kayser spritz and um, what else, Heidi Swap spritz, I've got my Distress sprays, oops, um, some other texture paste and my uh, waxes and some other glues and so forth, so uh, all in there. So down the bottom here I've got um, my paints. So these are all my water, acrylic and metallic paints in here. And down the bottom um, I've just got my stamping up scoreboard, some cutting mats. Uh, I've got some other bigger stencils here. Uh, that I'll probably end up doing the same as what I did with my smaller ones, just doing samples and a couple of books. I use these books all the time. Uh, no, not to read, but to basically uh, sandwich paper together. So if I'm gluing and I want the glue to hold, if I am drying 
cardstock with my heat gun and it warps it a bit, I stick it in between the books. So uh, then I've got my paper drawers here. They're all loose papers uh, and more die and stamp sets over here. So uh, the other thing, lastly, so I've got all my other tools that I use which is for this scoreboard I don't know sunlit this is really good this scoreboard picked it up for like ten dollars and uh, it's just nice and handy um, and it's in inches uh, which is probably the downside up the top but it does have centimeters on the side um, Oh, it does have centimetres down the bottom too, actually. Just noticed that. Um, it's got a score um, blade as well. I think I picked this up at Lincraft uh, when they had a sale. On the back here, they've got a um, envelope. So you can do your envelopes on the back. So that's really good. And this is something that um, I use all the time now. And I also have my tonic guillotine which I use 90% of the time when I'm at my desk. I do have a Boston big one, which is just behind me. Um, I use all that all the time. Um, I've got my one, two, three punch board for envelopes, which I use this all the time. And I've got my um, Fiskars um, here as well. And I use that one all the time. So, yep, my little basket of rubbish. So I've got my other drawers. These drawers here need um, sort of sorting out. I haven't done that since moving in. So my IKEA drawer is pretty well much the same. So I do have my Boston guillotine um, over on this side. So I just turn you around. So that's my desk there. So I did have it next to my desk at my old house, um, but I find this is working a little bit better for me. Um, just a bit of a junk drawer, tape, material, so I've got material um, in here as well. Uh, a bit of a junk drawer. <laughs> um, so this is where my tapes, adhesives, um, foam tape and that sort of stuff is. Um, now this is my drawer where I put all my um, dies and stamps when they come in. So I've just received some not long ago, so I've just put them all in here. And I did have some of these already made up, um, so I've just got to label them. So, um, so I just put them all in here uh, just till I'm ready. My last drawer here, I've got all my... Um, punches so these are like border punches and so forth so wardrobe absolutely chock-a-block <laughs> full of crafting stuff <laughs> so yes a little bit obsessed so this is where all my Kayser craft paper so because um, I'm a bit of a Kayser craft junkie uh, I must admit so um, so I got this off the black sale not long ago so these are really good they sell them um, all the time I don't know if you can get them sent overseas or not I'm not sure but we can get these 100 12 by 12 papers for like 10 bucks so it's really really cheap and they're double sided so normally what I do with these is I'll cut this out and then I'll sort the paper packs into uh, numbers. So, so on the bottom of the paper pack you'll actually see that there is a number. So these here are all in numerical order starting at let's see starting at 102 right through to 2079 so this is how I keep um, my paper packs 
I do have some 12 by 12 storage boxes here as well. And what do I what I do with these? I'll actually buy the smaller paper packs. So um, Kaiser Craft also does um, 12 pack of paper, double sided, two of each paper. But at the back, they also have stickers. So I pull all the stickers out and I put them all in here. So these are all from packs that I have bought. So, um, yeah. So I've just got to remember that my stickers are here because I do have stickers at my desk as well. So, okay. So that's my paper packs. That's my brother, uh, there I got that um, second hand and works a treat. Uh, I've got a couple of craft trolleys with various things on it. So, you know, like your tissue paper. I've got down here all my um, cutting plates for my die cutting machines. I keep all my scrap paper down the bottom here. So when I'm doing a project, I just throw it into the bottom here and Every so often I just go in and um, organise that. I've got my Kaiser Craft uh, die cutting machine, which is absolutely brilliant. I use that all the time. I've got a uh, fold up desk. So if I'm looking for extra room, because as you can see, um, I don't have a lot of um, desk room. So I sometimes uh, bring that out. Uh, my shelving, I've tried to keep this very similar to the shelving in my old house. So where I've got um, tissue paper, I've got some happy mail here, which I go through every now and then. I've got uh, paper in ephemera. Um, I've got some storage in these two here. Um, some, it says cardboard, but it's canvases. So I've got heaps of canvases. Um, books and magazines, sometimes I use those. Um, and with the books and or mainly the magazines actually, I don't cut the magazines. I actually photocopy the magazines um, in colour and that way I use that rather than cutting into a um, magazine. The dictionary and the book there, they're really old so I use those um, just as I do. Um, some art journaling pages are in there, I just have to bind them. A4 paper, cardstock. 6x6 six six paper, um, some more storage, my already made up cards and envelopes, my A5 cardstock, um, my Stampers Anonymous, Crazy Dogs, Cats, Tim Holtz, um, rubber stamps and all that are in there, some wooden embellishments, uh, some, oh what are they? different types of paper actually so I've got textured paper paper that um, I purchased years ago with die cuts uh, in them already some stamped and printed background laminating paper and pouches so I've done something a little bit different with my stamps uh, also so all my stamps I have um, put into categories um, because they're all different sizes. I wish all stamps would be um, come in roughly the same size, but you know, we can't um, have everything, I guess. So um, this works really well for me. So, um, you know, I've just categorized everything, birds, faces, um, feet. <laughs> I've got all my castle craft ones here. Um, what else? Yeah, monsters, Zentangle, houses, vintage stuff, uh, background stamps, Christmas stamps, flowers and trees. And these are all my sentiments. So this is what I use all the time. And this is probably what I've concentrated on to organize. So... What I did was um, I put a number on all my stamps and I took a photo of them. And on my computer, I've put them in a folder called Sentiments. 
and it has the number on it. So if I'm looking for a particular sentiment, whether it be a um, sympathy or a birthday or a thank you, um, I can just look on the computer at my desk and then when I find what I want, I just go and pick out the, the numbered stamp. So that's worked really, really well. So that there is my 360 um, view of my room. And this is my new little fur baby. So this here, as you know, we lost Charlie uh, about six weeks ago. And this is Molly. Say hello, Molly. Hey, Mum, I want a belly rub. <laughs> So Molly um, has taken over in the craft room. So that's my craft room tour for today. And as I said, this is my new little fur baby. So this is Molly. Hey, Molly. Hey. And I think she just does look like an Ewok. <laughs> so she is 10 weeks old and she is just starting to follow me everywhere, especially in the craft room. So you'll see Molly in a lot of my videos in the future and um, yeah. But I hope you've enjoyed my craft room tour. Um, I know there's a few of you that have asked me um, when I'm gonna be doing the craft room tour. So I hope that this has helped you with some tips that I've got. Um, I'd love to hear your comments, if you have enjoyed this, don't forget to give us the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And until next time, happy crafting. See ya. Bye, Molly. Bye.